name is Morello Kane, and it's the Hair Debate Show. I tell you, I'm so excited about today because we're going to be uncovering and unmasking. Okay, we're going to be talking about some things, guys. So, panelists, you guys better watch out. Stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Debate where we debunk, debate, and discover all things here. And welcome back. My name is Morello Kane, the host of the Hair Debate and the brand master behind Morello All Things Hair Media. But I am here with my special, special guest. Uh <laughs> Uh, my you panelist. Like, oh, <laughs> my <laughs> my <laughs> panelist. And I am here with Amanda Nicholson. Yes, yeah, she is a marriage and family therapist. And right next to her is Miss Donna Oriwo. Ori. Close. Close. Oriwo. Yes. <laughs> and, and we would take that. Okay, she is a doctorate <laughs> in human sexuality in the oh everlasting just Fashion Nisa, it is. I tell you, <laughs> D Hardy of Elevation Hair Studio. Okay, and we are going to be back because we are uncovering, guys. We're going to talk about some things. We're going to unmask some people. Okay, you're going to take off that mask, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned. For more shows like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified every time the hair debate has a new episode now let's get back to the show okay so guys we've talked about this the disorder this weephoria okay we've mm -hmm. discussed that yep. okay and so now people that have battled that they are now conformed to walking around with this mask right. okay mm -hmm. they're walking around with this mask mm -hmm. and i think it's time that we you know kind of help them uncover it okay okay so what, what suggestions do you have i'm gonna go right to dr donna so, Dr. Donna, you know, when it pertains to... Call me special. The, uh, Call yeah. <laughs> we just need some special people to help our special ones out there. Uh. Because I... <laughs> so now, okay, how are masks created or formed? They're created and formed over time. Okay. So, no one is born into being with a mask. We are taught to constantly cover up little things at first and then it becomes bigger things. So really, it, be, it I'd like to think that it comes from being taught shame. So we are taught shame about certain pieces of ourselves. We're taught that certain things about us are unacceptable. So we learn to cover those things up. So okay. that shame and you know that covering first is probably more of an emotional and psychological covering before okay. it becomes a physical covering. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Well, then you may have some experience in this area. So, oh, so now, oh. I'm not, when, I say, when I say experience, I'm just saying because you, you consult your clients and you guys get very personable. And we okay? do. I, and I'm just saying, you guys get very personable. Mm -hmm. And so now, what is your take on why, uh, you know, or I don't, I don't know if you may have any experiences or whatnot, of how um, it's created a form? How a mask is formed? Yes. Much to Dr. Oyo's point, Oreo Wo. <laughs> <laughs> Much to Dr. Oreo Wall's point, um, I think it's the taught behavior. Um, going back to our earlier segments, topics, topics and discussions, I still firmly stand by um, it being behavioral okay. and it being something that's taught with shame. If you guys remember back, um, I, I can recall a time in my life. Hi, Mom. Talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about um, it. Talk about where it. we as a people would say, what happens in my house the, uh, stays, stays in, in my house. house. I'm here to Come tell on, you. Come on, choir. <laughs> so with that, you know, we're taught to not disclose, not to discuss, not to uh, uh, yes. admit certain yes. things mm -hmm. that may have transpired and conceal those things. So Absolutely. through consultations, through communications with clients, they often have those same patterns and behaviors and now they've conformed to wearing whatever mask it is they're wearing, being extensions, um, lashes, makeup, uh, nails, mm -hmm. even the way in which you wear your hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. I gotta have my left eye covered. Must. I gotta have my right eye covered. Sideburn. I mean, there are so many variables associated with it. 
solely again it is a result of a behavior that was taught to us you know and let's touch that side you know so right with the hair swoop mm -hmm. there are clients you know there are individuals it's like it throws them off they it, you, you i mean it's like they cannot i can't sleep i can't oh no they feel off balance why mm -hmm. is that shame why, why? it's the shame that dr or it's the shame that the doctor <laughs> spoke of. <laughs> that very shame. Um, and social acceptance. And you guys know I stand firm with that as well. I always go back to how society has conformed us because given our age variables, right, mm -hmm. over time, much to your point, doctor, over time. So now society is saying, hey, you have a big forehead. Bangs. No. So now I need a mask oh, I'm to also, I'm, I, cover those. I'm, well, I'm, tr you, I'm trying to walk... I don't want to see you, you, you helping me with that. Uh -huh. I, I, I Come out. Say, but I, I wanted to beat them down. Oh, we fought on mm -hmm. it. I, and, and we did. The struggle was real. And we did. The struggle was real. And just looking at how long have you been the way. When were you saying how long? I mean, what are you talking about? My age? Mm. Well, we know 1600 uh. BC was the date of birth, but oh. we weren't going to go <laughs> that far. What I'm, you know, just knowing that even speaking prior to you said 13 years that you hadn't revealed yourself to your loved ones. <laughs> so let's just look over the course of those 13 years. There was something transpiring internally that caused you to mask yourself. And now you and I collectively are working on your demasking as well. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate the offer <laughs> Well, I, you know, and, and I will not say that I am without one because, again, I that was my comfort zone. But I think we all have masks, right? Okay. So, and it, do, it doesn't always have to be hair, makeup, mm -hmm. lashes. Like, our religions calls us to have masks. Okay. Like me, my dad's a preacher. So, there are certain ways I have to act in public spaces. Mm -hmm. My family is well known around the area, so I can't be out here acting crazy all the time so i'm a representation of something Absolutely. else mm. outside of my home outside of my family mm. now if you catch me at the house it might be a whole different person mm. but <laughs> we, all mask, you know, we all wear masks in different identities and i think that the hair helps mm -hmm. the lashes help so it's just like we got our hair and makeup done this morning. I felt like Beyonce, right? Oh, well, you can't mm -hmm. tell. I don't look like, I feel like Beyonce. You, know, but you can't tell. You know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes our masks help us build our confidence, but the thing is to have our confidence without our mask on. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's something we all need to work on. Well, I tell you what, we're going to dig right into that a little bit deeper. Okay, when we come back, definitely stay tuned. Yes. yes, and welcome back. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and dig a little deeper because Dr. Donna, um, you know, you being a therapist, both of you, okay, mm -hmm. but so now I know you guys have service individuals that, okay, you're like, okay, she's wearing a mask. A whole mask. Mm -hmm. People come into the office and, you know, they're wearing these full-on outfits, and you can oh, tell. Oh yes, a whole outfit. <laughs> because a part mask. of it, part of it is, it's all the layers that you got to put on to even begin to support that mask. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, so like I think of a mask. I'm like, if you hold something out here, that yes. thing gets heavier, and heavy. So you start building support so that you can continue to hold huh. that thing out there and wear okay. your armor. Okay. Exactly. You wear mm -hmm. your armor. Mm -hmm. So it's it's in the makeup we wear in the morning, how okay. we style our hair, the clothes we choose to wear. It's in the attitudes we choose to have. So okay. like I had a client who would come into my office faithfully every week. How you feeling? Happy. Why aren't you here? I don't what, deal what, with happy what, people, what but she was constantly there. Happy. But, but okay, so now let me just say this. Now, and I'm just gonna say this. What's wrong with saying that you happy? Why, she was lying. Okay, well, well, <laughs> That's okay, all. well now, let me, okay, so now we are taught, though, to speak things into existence. Mm. If I'm working on self, and so if you say, okay, and, and if I'm setting my day, I'm gonna set my day to say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna be happy today. How you doing? I'm happy. Mm -hmm. But happy you know, people don't come to so, therapy. <laughs> okay, happy people well, yeah. don't. They don't. They don't come. But now, have therapy. you sold yourself? In, okay, so if I'm seeing you at two o'clock in the afternoon, uh -huh. have I sold myself then 
at okay, so now it's eight o'clock. I'm walking in happy all day. All the music mm -hmm. I'm playing is happy. Okay, I, everyone, I'm happy. How you know I'm happy? I must say I'm happy in order to walk through this day. So at two o'clock, when I'm seeing you, oh, I'm grinning. But you can't. Oh, oh, oh no, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm very is, happy. Are you happy or are you just having a good day? Right. It, that's or a even fine worse. Line. Yeah. That's or fine. worse. Are you pretending to have a good day? Are you pretending to be happy because now you are shaming yourself? For having, for really experiencing an emotion that is not happiness, but you are expected to be happy for other people. That right. is stressful. Okay. Well, and it is, and it is. But now, how do you help help then that individual? That's like, okay, I must start my day at being happy. Okay, so by at two o'clock, mm -hmm. I've been so happy from the music, from being around other happy people. Cause now I'm trying to set myself around. Oh, you calling me with negative? Oh, I'm not. Oh, I'm not doing negative right now. So by the time I see you, oh, I'm I'm very happy. How do you help that individual to say, okay, at this point you can start distressing? Are you setting your environment in your office for, for such as that? Definitely. The first thing that any client does when they come into my office, we do a feelings check in. I'm like, I want you to pick off the emotion that has been the highlight of your day, but I also want you to pick out the ones that have been most prominent in your week. Mm. I don't see people every day. So, um, so when they're doing that work, I'm like, okay, you're telling me that the theme of today is happy. Okay. But it sounds like there is stress in there. All Let's right. talk about the stress. Okay. Like, and why you okay. have decided to mask your stress with all this happiness that you are trying to sell me on because that happiness is not even for them. It's for everybody else. Oh, right? shut up. So right. you're setting a oh, precedence of because... happiness for the day. But then to your point, when you start looking at stress, how does that play into hair? Uh, hair loss. Say, no, exactly, exactly. Or health in general. Hair loss, weight loss, weight gain. Absolutely. Okay. You know, Absolutely. Uh, wrinkles. Because this industry, again, embodies so many elements. So you have your Botox. Mm. You have your fillers. Mm. Uh, oh, trust me. This is unreal. Mm. Mm. <laughs> uh, like and, and, and other elements to <laughs> assist with embodying this said uh, uh, day setter. Okay. This said precedence okay. that I have to exhibit. So in this, it's an outward emotion, but the internal component is still a struggle. Absolutely. Not and mean? that shows up in relationships. Right. I can only imagine. Because you act like you're happy, right? There are so many people who act like they are happy in their relationships because they check everything off their list. Oh, mm -hmm. Right? So they act like they're happy. <laughs> mm. okay, drive that money. Drive mm. that. But the thing is, you're wearing a mask in your relationship, acting like you're happy, you're satisfied in your sex life, and the sex whack. But the, the, yeah, not yeah. only the, se the sex whack, the relationship whack, the communication whack, <laughs> oh, whack, whack, whack. whack. <laughs> okay, okay. and you wear a mask. Okay. Saying you're happy, you tell everybody you're happy, and they say, "Oh, how y'all doing? We fine. We good. Where are okay. y'all? Well, I tell you what. Meanwhile, you've been engaged now for the last eight years. Oh, no date. Oh, 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 oh. I'm just saying. I'm, well, okay. I'm just well, saying. Well, let me like, just say this. Like, that shows your happiness. You real happy with your eight-year engagement <laughs> not moving forward because you know something is wrong. With your you are wearing self. that okay. mask so and you, you are committed to it. And I'm saying if you start your relationship off lying with that mask, you have a responsibility to keep that same energy, sis. Oh, so, okay. Well, now, let me ask you this. So, literally, you can tell in the bedroom. Okay, mm -hmm. up under those yeah. sheets. Oh, yeah. Up yeah. under those sheets. Yeah. In the middle of Oh, oh. In the middle. oh. Yeah. Yes. 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 Ooh. Yes. You know. You oh, know when somebody it. not your yes. person. So it's a whole nother job is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. A whole other job. You are an actress. Award winning. representatives. <laughs> Hashtag so, that. I tell you what. And, and, and let me just say this. Because all the fakeness in that arena, you're going to see it in your hair, child. That hair will fall off. you wondering. And then you're trying to find the closest grease where you... Let me, okay, I'm not going to go. Oh. Uh, so, well, so what I am going to say the closest is, stylist. <laughs> so what I will say this, we need to take a break. <laughs> because I tell you what, oh, I'm going up under your sheets. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> and welcome back. My name is Morello Kane, and I am here with a special guest, Jean Turner. Okay, she is a self-management and have... A brand, and I love the brand Fit 
um, Fox C50 and beyond. You got it. Oh, how fabulous <laughs> that is that? Yeah. Yeah. How fabulous is that? I'm just saying. And let me just say, and you fabulous with sure, it. Thank you. I'm just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now this whole Max thing. Let me just say, when I met you, uh, first in, in me having to walk out of this whole disorder of this euphoria. Okay, but when I saw you and you were just bad with it, and you rock how you rocking it, everybody's not able to rock it like that, and just the confidence or whatnot. How are you able to rock that out without conforming to a mask? Okay. Well, first of all, thank you for having me. Oh, yeah. You guys are hyped, and I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, to answer your question, yes. so my walking through this process, what you see here now was not always so, not even a year ago. Okay. Okay? So I, um, based on a medical condition, mm -hmm was diagnosed with a malignant tumor in my left lung last summer. Okay. And so that started me on this current journey, you know, receiving yes. medical treatments. I have to take medications. Yes, I'm on chemo currently. Okay. I did not have a choice in the matter. Okay. And so earlier when I want to say, I don't know if it was the good doctor, one of you that um, was like, well, why do people mask? I know we talked about some things. I, I think self-esteem has to do with it. But mm -hmm. for me, it was secrecy. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Number one, right. I'm a very private person. Okay. Number two, based on my brand. Okay. Okay. Because I'm a registered nurse. I'm a certified health coach. Okay. And yes, don't let the look fool you. I'm, I'm still it. a soldier in the United States Army. Okay. So we have... <laughs> You oh, know, mistaken. and I did not want people to know what was going on with me because you okay. can't be a nurse and a soldier and practice and preach self-care and prevention and live that lifestyle and walk it out. And then suddenly, okay, you come up with a diagnosis and with that, because I had an image to keep. Okay. Okay. Yes. Because I'm a private person. Yes. All right. Didn't want nobody else violating my HIPAA. Okay. Uh, right. <laughs> and so I felt initially oh. that I wanted to keep it under wraps. Okay. So it was okay. a secrecy thing with me initially. Yes. Now with that said, I wasn't really big into wigs and to and weaves other than during the winter months having it as a protective style. Okay, okay, <laughs> yes. Because I was natural. Mm -hmm. And so but it was a process for me. So lost my hair. My hair started falling out. I said, well, okay, let me go ahead and chop it all off to probably about this much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just, just need a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. This just much hair left on my head. All right. So people can be like, oh, you know, Jean just cut her hair again. You know, mm -hmm. no big deal. But then when that stuff just started coming out in the rest of the clumps wow. and I started having patches all in the back of my hair. Okay. I told my husband, okay, you come home this evening, just go ahead and finish shaving it off. Wow. Mm -hmm. I was wow. just like, I'm, this wow. I'm not going to do. Wow. So just go ahead and shave it off. Just like that. Just like that. He came home one night. He got them clippers or what What you call them? The, the trimmer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we went in the garage and he started shaving. Wow. And he started shaving. Now, okay. with that said, okay, no one. No one told me I was, my husband tells me all the time I'm beautiful, but I had to tell myself. Okay, okay, I'm okay. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, you better I had to say sit it. there in that garage and tell myself, like, true health, true yes. beauty begins yes. on the inside. And it does. It okay? does. I had to tell myself that society or no one else defined Absolutely. my beauty for me. Absolutely. Absolutely. As I sat in that garage. And he took the trimmers mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. took it on off. Shut okay. your mouth. Shut your mouth. And from then on, I actually looked in the mirror. He gave me a mirror. He said, baby, how you feel and how you look? I think you beautiful, which I don't. Wow. Oh, that's all that matters to me. And my, my man still thought I was beautiful. I'm that, like, that you better <laughs> say that. No, for real. <laughs> and I care less what anybody else thought. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. But I looked yeah, in that mirror. I embraced it. And honestly, since... August, the last week in August when I started treatment, 
I've only been in a wig seven times, and that's only because I was in uniform and it's against Army regulation to wear bald hair, to be bald. So the seven times I've been in uniform wow. since then is the only time mm. I've had a wig on. That's amazing. I've embraced it. That's but amazing. But the key thing for me, I was confident before this. Oh, mm -hmm. you better say that. Yes. 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 Okay. And in case folks don't know, confident is the new sexy. <laughs> I, 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 I wear it well. And if you <laughs> don't believe me, if you've seen the movie on Netflix with Sanai Lathan, <laughs> Happily Ever After. Yes, oh, yes, that's real. She had, she was confident with the long weave, right? Absolutely. But then when she woke up that morning, Ooh. realized what she had did and shaved that head, problem. and then she tried to cover it up. Yes. And then, you know, she was wondering why the men weren't looking at her like they were at the beginning. When it wasn't because she was bald. It was because she, she lacked the confidence. I, I'm so glad. You, you know what? And I'm, I'm done. I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, oh, no, you're not. Because I'm about to feel the <laughs> Uh, so, so let me just say this. I love the fact of you addressing that because let me just say some of you are battling with that. We service you. You're absolutely beautiful, but you don't see it because you're not confident with it. You know, you want to bring a picture, and, you, and if you don't look identical to that what's on that picture, mm. and I'm like, no, Talk this is it. you. This is your look. You And, and I say to them, a, a person responds to you. Okay, be trendy. Walk in being different. Love that. Be that. But again, you walk in, you wait. Oh, you didn't tell me that my hair look good. Do you think your hair looks good? And, and it, if you think that, ladies, if you know that, then they will too. Right. They will see that on you. You know, I, again, because that's what I saw on you before we even said a word. When you turned around and I said, my God. And so I tell you, I, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just so happy that you were able to address that today. Because so many women need to understand that. They need to see that. Mm -hmm. They need. Oh, you've been spot D. That may be. There's something say, that may be. Absolutely. That may be this summer. Absolutely. I, I love that. I We may be twins this yeah. summer. Y'all better watch out. <laughs> Lastly, before yeah, you I, I, keep in I'm mind, just oh, saying. she did have a mate through the process. Absolutely. And that was beneficial. Mm -hmm. You have a mate, a, a mm -hmm. partner mm -hmm. through the process. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be relationship bound or with one person uh, specifically. Mm -hmm. Yes. But have a circumference or a surrounding of positive and supportive. A support team. A support yes. system. Yes. Absolutely. A support system. At the end support of the day. team. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And when you're ready for that, zzz, four, seven, up, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm here to tell you it's very real it's, it's very w real and i'm so glad that we were able to address it today and so now that you know we're talking about healthiness and come unmasking and whatnot okay we're going to bring on um our shelf okay so we'll be right back with you so that way we can introduce and you can meet who that may be okay we'll be right back thank you For more shows like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time the Hair Debate has a new episode. Now let's get back to the show. Yes, and welcome back. I have a very special person, which is our chef. Okay, then I want to introduce the chef of the Hair Debate, Chef V. Yay! Hey, Chef V! Hey. I'm doing great, lady. <laughs> ah, uh, and even loving her. Um, lady, now this is ridiculous. Like the it? stuff that how you prepare it yes. is just on a whole different level. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what you have there in front of you is avocado salad. Ooh. Okay, the tortilla oh. shell is just something if you have a texture problem, you know, mm. you could probably. Uh, <laughs> She's talking to me, y'all. Texture problem. Tortilla <laughs> shell, you know, to give it a little crunch okay. okay so what's in there is the avocado fresh avocado mm -hmm. you have fresh um tomatoes mm. lime juice cilantro um, as well as mm -hmm. let me see red onions mm. that's in it with salt and pepper to taste so yes so very different you know now the avocado i when I tell you this is it's so good, it's it's mm. a little it is good. a little spicy, subtle though, not too much, you yes. know, just a little something to open up the hair follicles. Yeah. <laughs> just a little something. 
<laughs> but you know, very different from the um, salad, like with the um, lettuce. Right, right. You know, yes. so and mm. I love it. Yes. Okay, mm. and and what is you said the tomatoes and cilantro that cilantro I tasted. and a little jalapeno peppers. I, if mm. I left it, I mm. does have chopped jalapeno peppers as well. Mm -hmm. And love avocado is just yes. so good for your body as well. Mm. So you know, you could eat a little bit, you have a little bit of love, go ahead yes. and mash it up, and you could create a mask with it. So, you know, we're talking about masks yeah. and whatnot. You know, put a little, <laughs> little, little hair mask. Hair. Hair. <laughs> <laughs> put a little hair mask. Yes, and so, I tell you, thank you so much. This is absolutely delicious. Thank you. And if you guys want to follow up with the recipe, go to morellallthingshair.media, okay, to check out Chef V's recipes and get more information, as well as to get my book, The Seven Love Languages of Hair, because we talk about a lot of different things in the in that as well when it pertains to ingredients and whatnot. So, again, my name is Morello Kane. This is the home where we debunk, debate, and discover all things hair. Woo